Hey guys, what's up? Uh, thanks for coming back to the channel. Um, this video, I'm going to show you guys uh, a little new goodie I got. This is my Ricer Jay's Racing uh, tow hook. It's actually a functional tow hook though. So uh, I've been kind of looking online to see what options I wanted to do for a front tow hook that's permanently fixed to the car and doesn't pierce through the front bumper because the OEM tow hook I ran at my last track day time trials event and um, you know it's mandatory to run them there and it's definitely a good idea to have a tow hook on your car in case you do go off track and they don't destroy your bumper pulling your car out but I don't like the looks of it and I don't like the fact that it sticks out in front of the front bumper you can smash and destroy your shins on it or it's just just kind of an eyesore thanks to the guys at Deft Motion I'll leave the link down in the description here um, they gave me a big gift certificate uh, for winning the fastest modified uh, class time the SDK takeover in May of 2019 um, so I picked this up pretty cheap on their website there's a lot of parts on their website for the S2000 I never knew existed and made me realize how broke I am so all I could afford was a tow hook <laughs> so today we're gonna be putting this on um, super functional and it's gonna sit in the grill of the front bumper and not obstruct anything else so this is the front of my 2002 it's an AP1 um, you get your air pump here which is extremely ugly and uh, as you saw in my previous video, I showed you how to do the brake ducts. Well, I pulled the front bumper back off now that I have the tow hook after my track day. You know, check the brake ducts out and everything, and they're still in perfect shape. So, um, tow hook is essentially going to install inside here these two uh, factory holes exist already on the car and the frame here. So, there's only one clip holding this plastic up. You're going to want to pop that out just to get yourself some room. There's one of those on each side. Odds are they're broken. As you can see, mine has an air gap underneath. It's not really pulling up on it like it used to. I think the clips are broken, so maybe throw a couple new clips in there if you want. But basically, you're just going to pull this out and you sandwich the tow hook in between with the backing plate on this frame rail. And it's going to jut out to the left and come in front uh, and lay in between your grill flat. It's not going to stick out from the front bumper too far, I hope. Um, it should look pretty clean and not super ricer. Here's the tow hook. It's just a laser cut piece of steel. Uh, I believe this is powder coated red so it'll match my car pretty good. Uh, being an NFR AP1, that's essentially the, uh, the piece here. It looks to be a quarter inch, probably low carbon steel, just powder coated. I'd imagine if you were to use this and actually get towed out and someone put a metal hook around this, it would obviously scratch the powder coating off. and then would potentially rust I believe it definitely does not feel aluminum which it shouldn't be because it's a tow hook and it's functional so of course you got your bag of hardware too that it comes with it there's the threaded backing plate and just the two bolts that bolt through the frame so this is it this is what you get uh, you know two socket head cap screws I believe they're stainless there's your backing plate with just two tack welds on some nuts that looks to be painted black and uh, two locking washers pop this clip loose I'm gonna push up on it first so I don't Try not to break it. Eh, it probably will break anyway coming out of here. Uh, yeah, this one's missing quite a bit of, of meat here, which is why it was sagging. I'll replace them on both sides just to be sure. Um, that's really the only thing actually that holds this whole thing on. So definitely want that to be tight when going back together. But you can see here you got your surface to work with. Might want to clean that off while you have the chance in here to get any dirt off it before you clamp these pieces of steel to it. Alright guys, so the way this works is you got three holes. The two larger holes are where you're going to mount your screws through and your backing plate through these holes. But you must make sure you line up your center hole uh, potentially to try to get a longer clip through there because now you're not going to be sitting this flush to the steel anymore. There's going to be the thickness of the tow hook in between. So I actually happen to have a couple of... Uh, what are they? Are three eighths washers zinc plated laying around, just so the locking washers that come with these don't dig right into the face of the tow hook and peel the paint off. You're gonna want um, a flat washer and then put the locking washer on top of the flat washer so it bites into the flat washer and not the actual part itself. Um, so that's only one thing I can really knock them on is they didn't include a flat washer and they just expect you to bolt the uh, the split lock washer right to the painted surface because it's gonna it's gonna peel the paint right off. Alright so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up, line up that, try to get started into the backing plate which was pretty easy. There you go. Done. And I would suggest leaving them loose and trying to, you know, you have all this adjustability here. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna want to push it more towards the rear. But maybe I'll, I'll try to keep it somewhat centered just so the steel has a good surface to, um, to, to bite onto. The only thing I'm just thinking off the top of my head now that you're probably going to have to do is 
this with these bolts sticking out there, you're no longer going to be able to push this up. So you're going to have to either Dremel out some corners in this flat piece of plastic, drill them out, or um, I think a Dremel would be easiest. But all right, so with a quick test fit of the bumper here, the tow hook sits right in between these two grill lines here. There's no cutting or anything you need to do to the grill itself. Um, right now I kind of have it in the middle of the holes and uh, it's pretty nice. It's actually pretty flush and tucked in there right now so I'm thinking I'm going to go forward with this. You can you know, slide it forward more and that's actually as far forward as it can go and this bumper isn't pushed back completely yet. It really is not going to stick out in front of the car at all so it's not going to obstruct the visual appeal of the car very much. definitely think it's a good product however I definitely think they could improve on it by putting an extra weld nut in the center of that backing plate and putting a hole through it as well so that you can just give us three bolts guys and let us um, dremel out the plastic and then bolt that position up through the backing plate as well instead of using a clip which we can't use a clip anymore so I really don't understand why they did it that way but I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that up here Alright, so as you can see, I cut my channel out here. Kind of looks rough right now because I didn't clean up the edges with a, a deeper tool yet or anything, but you get the idea. So now this can ride up exactly where it was before. And uh, I have an even simpler idea now that I have thought about it a little bit more and looked around a little more. I'm just going to drill a hole right through here. So there. I have a hole and I'm going to take a zip tie. I'm going to loop it between the frame rail right here because you can loop it between those two positions and just go right through that friggin' hole and you're done. And it's going to pull it taut right up to the top just like the factory one did. So it's essentially, you know how those clips break all the time. Well, this is kind of stronger than a clip, I would, th I would say. There you go. Look at that. That's not going anywhere. Um, whoop, just by smacking it, I broke the other clip side off, as you can see down there. So here's an up close the finished product. Zip tie going around there. And a um, little clearance for the tow hook. That's how it looks on this side. Sticks out considerably far underneath the crash beam here. And this thing is pretty freaking solid, I will say. Um, slapping the bumper back on now. Putting the brake ducts back to the inlet so I don't forget that. And now we're going to put the bumper back on the car and see where my placement ended up in the grill. Alright guys, so here's a look with the bumper back on with the tow hook. As you can see, it sticks out maybe an inch from the front of the car. So you can still see it, but if you're walking by the car, you're not going to break your shin on it. There's a view from underneath. There's a view from the top, right there. Not too bad. The red is a tiny bit different color than the NFR of the car, but uh, can't complain. Came out pretty good, and for the price, uh, I think it's worth it. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment, leave a like, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.